Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel, Watercolor Impressions. This week we will take a painting that already exists and I'll show you how to complete it with final touches. Before you go, hit the subscribe button so you guys can get weekly video updates from our channel. And uh, let's get started guys. In any kind of painting we do, uh, there's this concept called overworking a painting. Once you overwork and give a lot of details, it loses the essence of uh, your focal point and the composition in our painting. So just to be make sure that don't to try add uh, details which are exist in your reference, but make sure to add details which are like 60%. So the viewers can put their own details and own twist on your painting. So that's a secret behind um, finishing up a painting. And uh, when I started painting, um, I used to add this issue of uh, adding each and every details and even like putting uh, street poles, which is in the background, which is two kilometer away from my foreground. So when a viewer or a customer see your painting from far and it's gonna give that essence of a photorealistic look, even if you add a little bit of details in it. So. Uh, so this is the painting I did and I finished this painting uh, yesterday but I want to go and finish this painting so I guess uh, I can show you guys how to finish up a painting and not to overwork on it. So I started with the background you can see um, it looked really flat and I added a little bit of shadows to show the form and there is a little bit of contrast between light and darks. And uh, there's some street signs um, in this if you're in a city the street signs so which you can add that will show the place exactly where it's from so the blue one um, white sign which is on the left hand side I added and uh, those signs exist in uh, Toronto and a lot of people can recognize it as soon as they see it and you can also see I also saturated and uh, pushed my buildings in the midtown a little bit far because I want to create this distance from um, um, darker to a lighter uh, value and I'm also adding the parking sign, which is uh, the green color and the red stop sign. So these are things you can add. This will pop up your cityscape skin a little bit, uh, cityscape scene a little bit uh, read better. And um, now there's also a couple of signs in the background, which is in black and color. And I did uh, realize that uh, when I added the, uh, the value is a little bit uh, darker. So I took a tissue paper and get it off it. You can see I also added another sign which is in distance and you can see this also helps to create a, a perspective and uh, it also takes from one street sign to other sign. And um, I also added the street pole on the left hand side and now I'm trying to uh, add details in the foreground building. So whenever you want to add a lot of details, try to add the details in the foreground building because that will be your focal point and things closer to us will have a lot of details and things as it recedes and I'll have lesser details and if you take any kind of traditional painting or any kind of master paintings they did it perfectly well because the foreground building or the focal point and they will add more details but as it recedes to the background they will have lesser and lesser details and that also enhances a little bit of uh, depth and uh, create perspective in our painting as well and you can see um, even though the reference, um, uh, the perspective is a little bit uh, different, but I changed it a little bit. And you can see the shadows only on one side. And I thought uh, if I add the shadows all the way across, it will also look good. So I'm trying to tighten up the uh, windows there. And uh, I'm also trying to show a little bit of uh, a 3D uh, depth in my windows as well. So there's one thing um, we can, uh, a lot of beginners make a mistake when I started painting. I'm not showing that much um, uh, depth in your windows because since it's a foreground I took some time and adding those details and the cars um, I would have left it as it is but uh, vanity prevents it and uh, there is my OCD kicks in I want to go and uh, add all those details as can uh, as I can and cars are one of the thing which is really difficult to do uh, for beginners and I did have quite a bit of uh, hard time uh, when I was doing it and you can see I'm also adding this um, yellow bits and uh, signs on the <clears throat> on the foreground building. And you don't, uh, this one thing I learned um, uh, being painting for a while is um, you don't have to add everything from your reference. Just like uh, take whatever you want and try to capture that essence. I know I am keep on saying that and it is really necessary and create this habit as an artist to do that. 
and you can see uh, there's a lamp which was on the top right but I moved it to the top left so this is where uh, your composition sense comes in and this is where uh, we have an artistic uh, license and artistic expression how we can uh, show our scene and this is a beautiful thing about being an artist is that you're not a photographer because photographer capture as it is but as an artist you can think uh, things you can move things around to show an impact in your painting that's why I really loved painting. I used to be um, really good in photograph. Um, I was really into photography before. Then I realized uh, watercolors and I kept uh, um, mastering it. So <clears throat> so I'm also uh, taking my uh, white paint, uh, Chinese white paint. And um, you could see at the top, uh, uh, the building looked a little bit weak. And I want to make sure that uh, the perspective reads uh, good uh, on top of it as well. So street wires and uh, this also uh, this directional wires helps uh, the viewers to get into the painting. I'm trying to add that. So I'm using this uh, calligraphic brush and you can see I uh, added this um, white wires in the mid ground. Um, if I would have left it as it is, um, uh, it would have been fine. But once we add that, there's a little bit of this uh, lighting happening in our sign and it also creates this um, depth in our scene as well. And um, when I'm adding this um, uh, white eyelets, I'm not like looking at my uh, reference at all. So I'm just making it up as I go. As I said, any painting you do, it's your painting. So you can do whatever you want. So be confident about it when you paint and you just do whatever you can. And the flag I added, even though the flag you can't see in the reference because it's uh, really small on the screen, it is in the middle at the top, but I moved it on top of my building. So this is, uh, this is where when you paint, you'll come up with your own way of uh, concepting your painting and you will show how you want to express your painting as well. And added this uh, green uh, white bit in distance. I would have left it as it is, but again, my vanity prevents it. I want to go and uh, add each and every detail. And I want to add that green bit because I want to show the building form. So I want to create a 3D building uh, in distance. And I left the CN Tower as it is because I want to have that wash looked in distance. So, so I left it as it is. It also created this, if you squint your eyes and if you see my painting, there's a little bit of uh, AZ look in distance. And uh, you can see I'm adding this quite a bit, like orange bits. And I also added on the road sign uh, just to have a color variation so it's not monotonous. I always tape my painting um, just to see how the painting gonna look uh, when it's framed. And it also gives this, uh, provides this uh, hard edges around our paintings and it will look good. And as I realized, as soon as I took the tape, I realized that uh, a couple of direction, uh, direction lines won't hurt the painting. So I kind of added that. And you can see, uh, we took uh, uh, the reference and we only added like maybe 70% of the details. And the rest, uh, and a viewer can, when they look at it, they can put their own details on it. So now it's your turn. Take one of your painting and reference and add like uh, capture the essence of that scene and uh, let's see what you can come up with thanks again for watching this uh, how to finish up a painting tutorial please feel free to share your thoughts on the video in the comment section below if you have any other topics related to watercolors that you would like me to cover please reach out to me at watercolorimpressions at gmail.com or leave a comment down below don't forget don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads and share it with your fellow artists, friends and family. And uh, good luck with your painting folks.